So good evening and welcome in our new studio of Agora TV News in Switzerland. Today we are pleased to uh, welcome François de Zibenthal and probably many people don't know François de Zibenthal and uh, first of all I will ask you to introduce yourself. Hello, thank you David. Yes, I'm very pleased to come to Agora TV News because it's a very independent uh, TV channel on YouTube and on various uh, uh, internet channels. And uh, I have been working with Agora TV News since uh, several weeks and months mm. because it's a really, a really a channel without any strings, very independent, mm. a Swiss channel saying the truth in various languages. Mm. And uh, I want to tell you a story about the fraud in uh, the voting system in Switzerland, mm. which is uh, one of the first uh, system of voting, of uh, ballot system with uh, mail uh, system. Yeah, exactly, because not many people know, but uh, we can say that the uh, uh, ballot vote or the mailing system was invited uh, uh, in Switzerland, and uh, maybe you can tell uh, when uh, the system start, and it has a long e story now. E exactly. Um, I was working as secretary general of one of the biggest uh, Swiss bank in my state, Vaux, uh, which is a component, a state uh, uh, making Switzerland, a French-speaking state. Mm. And when I was Secretary General of the Swiss Credit, which is allied with uh, First Boston in United States, I discovered that the envelope, the banking system in Switzerland, the envelopes were not um, black. That transparent, means, you mean? Excuse me? They were not transparent. They were not transparent. So the secret uh, was not respected. Uh, the secret was not respected. And uh, I made a remark to the people in the bank. Mm. In several hours, the, all the system in Swiss banks were ch changed to have envelopes uh, uh, not showing the data in the envelope, especially the, the identification number and the passwords, which were uh, already mm. ongoing in Switzerland. But as a scrutator in the Swiss democratic system, I discovered that the envelope in the Swiss voting system were not um, black, they were transparent. And you have one here, th they pretend that it's, it's uh, opaque, it's, bl it's black, you cannot read through them. But in fact, since end of the 90s, I made remarks several times that those envelopes are transparent. You can read uh, through them. And I have been working after the Swiss banks, I have been working for IBM. Mm. And in IBM, or Hewlett-Packard, or Wang, I worked with uh, several American companies, I discovered that you have some machines which can read through those envelopes with optical recognition systems with a very strong light, and you can read through them without opening the envelopes. Oh, okay, Francois, but for people who are not uh, um, aware of a Swiss system, maybe you can describe uh, um, uh, what consists of the, uh, uh, of the votation material. Yes. So you just show an envelope, but in fact, it's more than that. So. Okay, then Switzerland is one of the first country in the world where they wanted to introduce the post the ballots with a mail system. Postal ballot. Yeah. yeah the, and um, since the 90s, they made that uh, on purpose to cheat. The people in Switzerland, nearly 100% of the people in Switzerland, they vote by mail. Nine, more than 95% of the people, they vote by mail. But it was not uh, always the case. So... Uh, um, it's my question. So when they started to uh, use uh, this system? And then the they reason? started to introduce this system in the 90s, end of mm. the last century, to improve the rate of uh, participation, to improve the number okay. of Swiss citizens voting, because mm -hmm. not enough people were voting, and it was sad to see a, such a beautiful democratical mm -hmm. system, one of the first in history, uh, with people, with less and less people going to vote. Then they wanted to introduce this system of uh, postal mail, mail ballot to improve our uh, percentage of participation. 
Then, when you receive that at home, you have an envelope. You open this, en this envelope. I keep this envelope uh, closed to have like a specimen, a real one, closed. Anybody can uh, come and see how it, it's working. Then Just you one receive... question, uh, François. Is it the only way to vote in Switzerland? No. You, oh. ha you had before voting by electronics too. And we will mm -hmm. see later that all the system in Switzerland, we had various systems according to the mm -hmm. various states in Switzerland. Some states were refusing to vote electronic with electronics because it's very easy to cheat. Some uh, states like Geneva had their own system, but now it's forbidden to vote with this system because it's too easy to cheat. Mm -hmm. Other systems, other states in Switzerland had other systems to vote. And the system used in the United States now belongs 100% to the Swiss government, to the Swiss postal system. This system was made in Spain by Sittel, and th this was bought because Sittel went bankrupt. Oh. And so this system was bought by the Swiss post postal system, which is cheating too. Uh, François, so we have a scoop today. So you announced that the, uh, uh, the system is... Uh, Uh, but belongs to a Swiss company and uh, 100%. which companies? Hundred percent. All 100%. the sources. But which company? To the Swiss Post. The Swiss which Post belongs to the Swiss okay. government. And uh, what's the reason uh, that uh, the Swiss Post uh, uh, bought uh, this company? Because the Swiss Post wanted to use with several uh, states in Switzerland this system. Uh, made uh, mainly in uh, Spain, in Catalonia, which is a region of Spain or a, a, a state which wants to, be, to become independent. And this company went officially bankrupt. But mm -hmm. all the software was bought, 100% was bought by the Swiss postal system, which is belonging to the Swiss government. So you mean that the intellectual properties, the software, the code, now belongs to the... Post, uh, the, the Swiss post. Exactly, 100% uh, of the, the code. Uh, also, the uh, uh, Swiss government, it's not a private company? No, 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 no. So, uh, it's belonging to the Swiss citizen, okay. to the Swiss government. So that's interesting. And this software, CITL, made by this uh, Spanish company, um, went to a test, an official test launched by the Swiss post, But the Swiss Post made the, the race, the competition among all the agors of the world, open in order to, to see if you had uh, backdoors and problems of security in this software. But the contract of the competition was uh, made in such a way that all the hackers could not divulge that they were backdoors, uh, software uh, holes, and uh, problems of security, breach of security mm. in the competition to find what, where were the, the holes. Okay. But some hackers, very honest hackers, uh, made public what they discovered. And this software is made on purpose as the Swiss postal voting system to have backdoors, to have breach of security And this is really um, a very big problem for Swiss democracy and a very big problem for the American system, American systems in various states as it is in Switzerland mm. and all over the world where the people are using those electronical systems to vote. Beware, because it's too easy to cheat mm. without any traces. But François, is it the only way to, of cheating? So we say uh, the system allowed to see uh, uh, through the, the envelopes, but um, you said that uh, there are um, other possibility of cheating. Maybe you can explain more. Yeah, then if we come back to the mail uh, cheating system, the citizen receives an envelope, and the same envelope he uses it to return the vote. Mm -hmm. And in this envelope, he has to vote with a paper, With all the vote, vote um, then this is used to vote. This is used to, for elections, mainly. Then this example is a voting system where you can see you have all the subject of one votation, which is asking a lot of questions to the Swiss people. And you have to put a cross, yes or no. And you see the black square 
for the optical recogn recognition uh, system with very strong uh, lights, which, is, which the machines... So what surprised me when you show this paper, it looks very similar to the American system. So this uh, piece of paper, uh, you have, can you show again the, the paper? So you yeah, have the a, a response later and people uh, have must have shoes. So here this is for what we call a uh, votation in Switzerland. And uh, people uh, uh, go, first of all, we need to remember that Switzerland uh, go very on a regular basis for election. I think this is uh, probably the country where people go m most <laughs> often uh, uh, for votation. Some people vote. say yeah. Switzerland uh, uh, is voting 90% of all the subjects in the whole world. We oh. vote so many times on the federal level, mm -hmm. the state level, the communes level, and so on. So this that is good. All the elections in yeah. the world, 90% yeah. of the votation elections and so on, are occurring in Switzerland. Mm -hmm. So this proves that Switzerland is a democracy. But now, uh, is the result of the election uh, uh, really uh, exact? And this is why today you want to explain that this is not the case. Uh, um, this is very important what you say. So you have proof. To I have proofs. Yeah. I, I, I have plenty of proofs. Mm -hmm. I have several proofs here on the table. I send proofs to the judges. But with the Swiss system, I think it's in many countries it's the same. The people judging if the process is good or not are the cheater. Mm -hmm. In Switzerland, it's, it's a conflict of interest. It's really great because the people cheating, and in one case, uh, I was so showing all the system of cheating, mm -hmm. and um, during the cheating uh, period, the, uh, they, they burned all the proofs I had because you, can, you could oh. prove with the fingerprint of all the papers. If you had no fingerprints, uh, that means they were cheating. Mm -hmm. If you had only w fingerprints of uh, a few people, it could be the so, cheater, and if you so had you fingerprints of many citizens, then it, it, they were real uh, citizen so, voting. So you mean they, they, they destroy the, the proof? So yeah, they, they, call, burnt. they collect the, the vote, they, they cheat, they burnt the and proof. just after, they, they burnt, so there's no way to control. Exactly. And then, okay. to add something on all those papers, you can see that you have a, a code bar. Huh? You can see the code bar. So on the top of this letter. Oh, uh, everywhere you have okay. code bars on the on the paper going mm -hmm. to the citizen, on the paper coming back to the state, uh, for people on the who voting who system. For people who don't uh, understand French, maybe you can explain what On you the mean. back of the paper you have yeah. code bars and so on. Yeah. And I know for sure that in Switzerland they, they made the systems even with RFID in the ink of banknotes, of um, notary pub public notary papers, and even in the voting system, you could introduce microchip, very small RFID chips, to trace the vote. And you have that good reason to think uh, this is possible because Switzerland is famous for uh, this uh, type of security. Yes, they are, they are companies a, a in Switzerland. Company, maybe yeah. you can uh, remind uh, uh, the name of this company. Who is well, uh, one of those companies uh, w which is working in my city, Lausanne, near my city, Lausanne, is Sigpa, Sigpa, which is a company very active in special inks for banknotes and uh, security okay. papers. And there is a technology to introduce very, very thin, very like dust, smaller than dust, which uh, to, to track with the RFID. Finally, um, but this system I'm showing yeah. to you is coming back to the 90s. Mm -hmm. Then, just to, to show you how clever those people are cheating, they are very clever, the citizen then puts this paper in the yellow envelope, which is not black, which is transparent. Then he puts this in the envelope with this paper back to the state. Mm -hmm. And normally, you should open this envelope only the day, the Sunday of the voting date. But as a spectator of the state in Switzerland, I was uh, keen to discover if they were cheating yeah. or not. Okay, Th this is your experience. So My maybe own you, experience. You can, uh, um, I was an official spectator mm -hmm. named by uh, my city, Lausanne, to check if the ballot system was safe. Mm -hmm. Then I, I asked to see where those envelopes were going 
during the th three weeks of the votation period. Then those envelopes were going in uh, every city. In every uh, city, there is a special place to collect the envelope. And they were opening those envelopes during the nearly the three weeks period, every day. Then they were putting this envelope, which has code power two, in a place. They were putting the yellow envelope in a place. And the paper coming with the name of the people voting in another box, but in the same, uh, with the same uh, rank. Then on the paper where the people are voting, you have to put the date of birth and the signature. And you have a code bar. And as a scrutator, I, I saw all that, but they were not, they didn't uh, allow me to see the screen giving information with the good bar. This was strange to me. Then I discovered that every, everything was with a, a rank in several boxes, different boxes. And during the night, I went to see, and in the office of uh, this city, Lausanne, the, of, the official office of the, of the commune, they, they had uh, windows in every office. You had windows up in the, in the walls of every office. Then I could see the light from outside during the night. And I saw the flash machine of the optical uh, reading machine during the night, reading the yellow envelope, which are transparent, passing very fast in the machine. And I, 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 uh, I, I was with uh, some people with me. And we rang to the office. The light stopped. The machine stopped. But nobody came to open the door. And then I thought about the system. And I discovered that those people were reading the yellow envelope with the optical, with the strong light. And passing the machine, they could know what is inside without opening the envelope during many days before the day of... So this is important. You, you saw this, but it was before the official uh, opening. Exactly. So the the mean, official opening yeah. is Sunday, yeah. but the, the day before, they are seeing so the inside. One day before, they did the uh, review. I was and the finally, night before. They did that on purpose to select the vote uh, uh, that interests them. Yeah. And... Um, What do you think? Why they, they do this? Just you know, to first of all, you don't need anymore to to make to a a public uh, yeah, public um, uh, poll to know what are the tendencies mm. in the state, which cost a lot, because they were they were uh, reading through the envelope and they knew what the people are voting. Mm. But what was worse that in every city in Switzerland you have those envelopes in case some citizens are. Uh, have lost all the material of vote. Oh, you Then mean if there, somebody there are lost more uh, envelopes, so... Everything yeah. is in every city of And Switzerland. in the city. Exactly the okay. same uh, papers. Okay. Then if a citizen has lost his papers, he can go in the, in the city the or the village the and have a new material. Mm -hmm. Okay? But we went to the printing office, the printing which belongs to mass media, the big mass media um, in Switzerland, mm -hmm. and we discovered that they print this a lot more. For my state, for instance, you had 100,000 such envelopes and material printed and dispatched in every city in Switzerland. Then in every city, every village in Switzerland, they can throw away the envelope which you can read through the envelope with a simple torch, with a simple phone, with the lamp of a, a cell phone. And if, first of all, you know who has voted what, then you can, uh, you can make... Um, But François, normally this should not be possible because if the envelope uh, was really secure and uh, we know that in Switzerland, uh, for example, the banking system, uh, when you receive uh, banking information, this is uh, extremely secure. This is absolutely impossible to read through an envelope. So why they don't apply the same uh, technology and uh, you can compare? Uh, no. Uh, what, what I say, because I, I say this is a, a, a crooking system okay. since 2003, 
I made proofs of that. Mm -hmm. A man, a political man, Mr. Jacques May, in my state, asked the state to change at least the color of the okay. order envelopes to see if there is a massive uh, arrival of uh, this kind of new uh, voting uh, voters coming in the, in the competition to vote. And they refused to change the mm -hmm. color on the envelope. Okay. envelope. They refused to change the system, which is not opaque, which is transparent, so this is because they want to change. Okay, so this is not a mistake, so is what I said. Because no. It's not because they don't have a technology. It's not because uh, they didn't know. Uh, so what I said for the banking system, uh, when they said... Uh, Uh, important information, this is completely secure. So why they don't use the, the same system? You know, so I, want to see the the, system? The, I want to see the prefect of Lausanne, which is a very important person in political, uh, he, he refused to see the proofs. I want to see the chancellor of my state, Vincent Grandjean. He, he told me he's a friend. Of, uh, we studied in, in, at the same time uh, law in, in the university. He told me, don't worry, Francois, I will take care of that. But nothing changed since 2003. That makes years of cheating. Uh, I can say nearly all the votes in Switzerland could be, have, have been cheated, especially when you don't have a, a very big uh, margin between the two camps uh, saying yes or no in some subjects. Mm -hmm. yeah, and, you know, anyway, if it's so easy to cheat that you can read through the envelope with a simple lamp, with a torch lamp or with a, a mobile uh, lamp, it's crazy to have a doubt with a, a such important um, uh, vote uh, ballot system, especially in Switzerland where we had to vote to enter the World Bank, we had to vote to enter the United Nations, we had to change our constitution to sell 1,000 tons of gold and so on. And um, it's incredible that with huge interest like this, you can cheat so easily, not only with the post system, but you can cheat so easily with the electronic system. And in Switzerland, we made such a scandal of the electric, electronic system with CITL uh, and so on, that we stopped on the Swiss level to vote with electronics because it's too easy to cheat. And we are fighting now because Even the Swiss Post is cheating with this system inside the post. They are cheating with our referendum initiative. We, I just launched three referendum and they are cheating the referendum. And the post, the Swiss Post, not only cheat the postal system of voting in Switzerland, but they bought the electronic system, which is so easy to cheat, and they, they own it 100%. This is not... Uh, so to you, this explains uh, the strange result because uh, the last uh, two votations, there was one called um, uh, Responsible Multinational and uh, people uh, were very uh, in favor of this, uh, uh, of this. And finally, the result was no. And uh, every time uh, the media say, oh, uh, we know because the Swiss people... Uh, Uh, they, 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 they just uh, follow what the, the government say and uh, finally they choose to not change anything uh, to not um, make any trouble with the economy. But finally, uh, because you, you said that it's so easy to cheat, uh, that could be a good explanation. May maybe uh, people want uh, uh, a different uh, uh, result But because this is uh, against uh, the, uh, the interest of uh, the government or the interest of uh, private companies, um, the result is, is, uh, is changed. No, I, personally, I'm sure that the two last subjects of votation in Switzerland, the one you are speaking about, the whole people, so many people all over Switzerland were uh, to control the multinationals and to have Swiss laws applied all over the world f to have ethical multinationals. And I'm sure that the Swiss people and the Swiss states have voted yes to this um, ethic, uh, ethical uh, new uh, position of Switzerland. And I'm sure that the Swiss people, they vote yes to stop the Swiss National Bank to invest in uh, in, uh, in uh, weapons, in uh, nuclear weapons, uh, and so on, because we are a neutral country and we don't want to invest the money of the Swiss people in nuclear weapons. I'm sure they voted no to this uh, 
that means they voted yes to the Swiss initiative and no to the to the uh, to the money of the Swiss National Bank and the big Swiss banks in those uh, nuclear weapons which are crazy for our country which is a small country and we are against the wars we are for peace and I'm sure they use this because nearly 100% of the people in this votation no more electronics because they are cheating with electronics. And this is proven and this is uh, validated by the, all the states of Switzerland. No more electronical votes. But nearly 100% of the votes were done by, by a post system and they cheated inside the post. They cheated in several uh, communes, cities to change the, the democratic uh, ec economy of Switzerland. And Francois, this is a big it, risk in Switzerland. Yeah. It's not a risk, it's a fact. And I'm sure it's a fact in the United States that yeah. they cheated electronically with the Swiss system, CITL, which was bought by the Swiss postal system, Swiss postal Pre system, which is Francois. cheating in Switzerland, and yeah. we have the proof Precisely, of Precisely, uh, Francois, because I think your interview will be... Uh, uh, broadcast in a U.S. network. So what is your message for U.S. citizens or people uh, abroad? So, uh, because I think what you said today would be a shock because for many people, Switzerland is, is really the, a, 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 a democracy and for many people, this is, this is even the paradise because uh, we give the thing that it's possible to vote at any time and uh, the citizens have a lot of power. But finally, uh, the only power they have is just to, to ask for votation, but uh, if they vote, they have no guarantee uh, that, uh, uh, they will, uh, that the result will be uh, true. So to conclude this uh, interview, what would be the message to uh, US, uh, US citizens and to other people? No, my message is very simple. We have proofs here in Switzerland that since the 90s, the, the postal system is cheated, the electronic system is cheated in Switzerland, and Switzerland is the country where the cheater all over the world tested how to cheat a votation in uh, several languages in Switzerland. They made very, a very good system to cheat. They didn't change it because the cheater have the power and thanks to this system they keep the power because they control non, not only the votation but they control the election and they can elect the people belonging to this side of cheater and my message is beware uh, United States, beware all the countries of the world, nearly everywhere they cheat and for the freedom, for democracy, please Stop the cheater. Please stop the cheater because the, the whole world, the freedom of the whole world, the economical democracy of the whole world. And really, I recommend United States to clean this cheating system in states all over the world because they cheated uh, in many places all over the world. And this will help Switzerland to clean this mess. Thank you very much. Just the last uh, question. So to avoid fraud, what would be the solution? What do you propose? What so I should propose... Should we continue with... Uh, uh, what with I propose is... Or if we continue, shall we uh, uh, make sure that the fraud is impossible with uh, the solution? So uh, what is your idea? What are your you, ideas? You know, in Switzerland, before, you had uh, a system where you raise your hand. Mm -hmm. This is the Landsgemeinde, the old democratic system in the Alps since centuries and centuries and centuries. They go and they vote with the arm in small villages, in small states. You can organize this and it's nearly impossible to cheat. Otherwise, you vote only one day. One day. Oh. One day. And you have, the like in Russia, the, 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 the arm, the place where you vote, it's transparent. Mm -hmm. you, it's filmed by several cameras. The same day, you can see the cheater, say the cheater, recognize the cheaters when you have cheating people, and everything has to be open. Every, every citizen can come and control and see if they are cheating or not. But if you, if you vote by correspondence, by mail, it's so easy to cheat during uh, hours and days and nights. Uh, this, because it's so easy to cheat, be, be sure that they are cheating. 
And we have the experiment in Switzerland. They are cheating. And many Swiss people, it's hard to believe because, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's really a shock when you think that Switzerland, they are cheating so much. They, they protect the money with envelopes which are black. You cannot see through, through tra transparency. They protect the Swiss postal system when you have uh, your money in the Swiss postal system. But they don't protect the, the voting system. This is, a, this is a, 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 a mess. This is a problem because it's, it's mm -hmm. transparent. They can Another thing you didn't explain. And you have explain. no secret of vote. Another thing. Uh, so you said uh, it's possible to, to cheat with the envelope, but uh, another thing that surprised me, uh, you were talking about the, the, the box. Uh, they are not closed in Switzerland. Well, they are supposed to be closed, but in many places, they don't close. Yeah, so, uh, uh, yes, and this they are is not a transparent. Fact. <laughs> this is a fact. In my state, you, can, you, can, you have glue and you can close the envelope, but in some states in Switzerland, You cannot close the envelope, then in every village they can see what is voting what, which is the case too with this envelope, because you think it's closed, but it's not closed because you can see through. Okay. Then you I can be marked, the it's mobbing. Box. The votation box, I mean. The, what we call it, les urnes, les urnes, the votation box. No, and the boxes where you yeah. put the envelope for the few percent of people, you don't have any, any more seals on the, on the boxes. And then uh, the people in the system... Uh, they, they can change the envelope too because you don't have seals. And even when I was scrutator, they did not allow me to come to see the opening of the boxes. Then I asked a friend of mine to take the garbage where you had all the seals inside the garbage. And I have here some photographs and I have still the seals, the official seals, um, if you want to see them, then m most of them were without the prints on the seal, which is uh, in lead. You have uh, an a, a, a old system, Swiss system, to be sure that the boxes are really closed, they are empty, and th then you open that. But I could not be there for the opening. We, we saved the garbage, and in the garbage, more than half of those seals were fake. There's another thing that explained that uh, fraud could, uh, could be uh, very uh, pop popular. I can, I can say that in Switzerland. Uh, it's because uh, the sanction, the, uh, they are not penalized. People who cheat are not penalized in Switzerland. Exactly. So this can, is you, uh, um, uh, um, can you confirm that and give an explanation why they are not penalized? Because, for example, in other countries, I think in the States, if you cheat, uh, <laughs> you, you, you may have a serious uh, uh, problem, but not in Switzerland. This is, this is incredible that in some states, for instance, in Geneva, some ladies working in the system of votation said how they were cheating. Then the two ladies were fired. The people cheating had no penalties. And uh, in one case, a lady was collecting all those envelopes in the, in the waste basket near the post or near the big buildings and so on. She was selling this 50 francs. And in oh. some states, you don't need to have the date of birth of the citizen voting. And I went to see a federal judge in Switzerland, and I told him, why did you didn't open the, the proofs I gave you in a very big envelope? And he told me, the judge, oh, Mr. De Cibental, I trust you. In my state, Basel, Baal, the, the system is worse because the people, they don't need to know the date of birth. <laughs> they go to wastebasket near Sounds the post office, incredible. near the big building, near the old pe retired people building, uh, sp uh, hospital, and so on. They collect the envelope. They sell the envelope. 50 francs per envelope to change the votation or the election. In the election, it's very important. And when those people are, are they have, um, some people are um, denouncing them as cheater, no, no penalty, because the people cheating are the people paying them. So to conclude, you, you said uh, in Switzerland, we cannot trust any longer the uh, votation system, but uh, uh, You organize uh, also a referendum uh, because uh, this is a uh, possibility in Switzerland if people want to change the law and uh, there are different reasons for that. And you are also uh, an organizer uh, of, uh, of referendum. 
so it will be a, a problem. Can you say more about your referendum and what you can do to avoid uh, this fraud? Yes, I organized several referendums in the whole uh, history. In the year, in the 70s, I organized, I was part of an organization against the Swiss Federal Police. We, we won, we had a yes to our referendum. That means officially they could not make a Swiss Federal Police in Switzerland. We had to use only the police of the states. And we won, but they did several federal police, which all are illegal. And now I launched recently three referendums about, uh, against Swiss COVID, against the law of COVID, and against the terrorist uh, law, because now I could be, uh, ju uh, I could, they could say I'm a terrorist, they could jail me uh, without judgment, without, just with uh, uh, sayings, no proofs, and I could be put in, in my jail, which is my flat. I have to feed myself, I have to pay my rent, but I cannot go out of my flat. I'm, I, I'm the, the, the prison, and they, prison they can do it this every six, six months without any proofs. And even and, and children 12 years old, uh, there is written in the law, it's a and what stupid su law. What's surprising is they justify this new law because of the uh, pandemic. They said uh, because the situation is so, uh, is so uh, um, dangerous uh, that uh, they need to control more people and they believe that uh, uh, because the pandemic uh, uh, could uh, be uh, in increased, uh, people who, who want, doesn't want to be uh, treated and they justify this law. But uh, <laughs> you said uh, nothing justifies uh, such a law. And yes. we know as well, and, and this is, uh, I think it's, it's a shame for Switzerland, uh, the United Nations, the, uh, the, uh, precisely the, uh, um, the human uh, right of the United Nations, they send a letter to the S Swiss uh, government to say that they, they could not understand this law and they ask uh, um, uh, more uh, clarification and the Swiss government, they didn't reply. Exactly. Then I ask all the Swiss abroad, which are many, to sign this referendum. They can just put their address abroad, a detailed address, no, nothing more. They send us this referendum. They can print it on internet. Okay, Our this is important site for people who will listen to you. They, they live outside Switzerland, but they are Swiss. And uh, if they want to help you, they can uh, sign this referendum. Uh, remotely, so you will give all the details. You can you can print it on the, our internet site, which is 1291.1. The 1291 is the date of foundation of Switzerland. Dot one, it's in English one. O N E Olga Navy Ernest Ernest, and you print all those three referenda. You sign them. You put your detailed address and the Swiss government will check if you are really Swiss and this will count in the 50,000 Swiss signatures we need till the 14th of January, be very fast. We have only one month to collect that. You send that, we have, you have seven addresses to send in Switzerland. You, you find the addresses in our site uh, slash address uh, in French, address with two S, E-S, plural, or to the address written, uh, you have three languages in French, in German, in Italy, in Italian. We could uh, make one in English, but it's not an official language, nor a national language in Switzerland. Then please sign one of those, and be sure you do a good work because you stop those crazy COVID uh, laws which are against the Swiss democracy and the American democracy and all democracies of the world. So you said you, there are three referendums. So I understand and you just described the last referendum, which is uh, against the anti-terrorist law. The first uh, referendum is uh, called Swiss COVID. Can you explain what is Swiss COVID? And uh, you said you have also uh, 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 you want to disclose something important. You, you discover something very important. Uh, that will be a shock for, for people. Maybe you can say, you can explain the reason. Yes, Swiss COVID, you can still uh, sign it 
Officially, the, um, the date is uh, foreclosed, but in, in fact, they made so many mistakes that we have uh, a period of grace, you can still sign it. And we discovered, thanks to Swiss COVID, that uh, most of the application in software all over the world to trace the COVID cases, in fact, are organized by a lady called Nicole Junkermann. And this lady uh, is a German uh, citizen married to an Italian citizen, but she is in the, um, direct, in the board of the National Health System in the United, in United Kingdom. She is uh, behind the FIFA money, the corruption and the conflict of interest in the, the football industry based in Switzerland. She is behind all those satellites all over the, uh, the world, uh, thousand, ten of thousands of satellites to trace the people. She is uh, in the software application, COVID, all COVID applications. She is behind the Epstein or Epstein uh, pedal criminal uh, agency uh, with the Lolita Express on the island of J Jeffrey Epstein. She is the, the, the officer of the network. She is a member of the Mossad, the Israeli secret system. And she is connected to the China government. And all those applications, all those cheating systems uh, are mainly funded by the Chinese Communist Party. Even a big bank, UBS, United Bank of Switzerland, has connection and um, made a company called Union of Bank Switzerland, UBS Securities, belonging uh, in majority to the Communist Party in China. And the Communist Party, all the Communist Parties in the world are funded by the Rothschild family, the, Rus the Russian Communists all over the world. They were uh, funded by the Russian, by the um, Rothschild family, family w w coming from Frankfurt am Main. And I was told that the, the main center of the CIA was based in uh, Frankfurt am Main uh, in Germany, which is very close to Switzerland. And um, the Citadel uh, company based in Spain. And the, the, one of the center of the cheating system is uh, in Houston, Texas. And uh, I, uh, I asked the Swiss, the American journalist who made studies, what is happening in Houston, Texas, in uh, Austin, in uh, Texas which seems to be one of the center of this cheating uh, conspiracy. Okay, Francois. So you are against the Swiss COVID application because you, you think that there is no privacy. You mean uh, the goal of this system is to collect all data and to send all the information to, to uh, this company, you said that belongs uh, to um, uh, a complex network of business and uh, there are uh, these uh, ladies behind. Uh, and uh, you are afraid because collecting all this data uh, means that uh, uh, private companies or people will, uh, will have knowledge of every uh, citizen. Exactly. And, uh, we, uh, we, are v we are very afraid of those uh, software uh, tracing system applications because in the Swiss laws, in German, in French, in Italian, it's written that all the data coming from those tracing applications are sent to foreign countries all over the world and ha are at disposal of the GAFAM, the big multinational company in the data processing. But not only that, they are at disposal of uh, secret services, foreign secret services. And even the Swiss government now is collaborating with the uh, Chinese communist uh, secret services uh, and they are uh, uh, giving information about the Tibetan uh, uh, opponents, which are uh, refugees in Switzerland, or about, uh, about Chinese refugees, which are in neutral Switzerland. And our government is giving information to the Chinese Communist Party and the Chinese dictatorship in China, which is against all the principle of neutrality, of peace, of uh, respect of the person, of respect of the refugees. And this is really a treason of uh, our Swiss government. And uh, I, I'm uh, proud to say the truth because I'm very afraid that our Swiss government is bought by uh, conflict of interest, by lobbies, by secret services, among them the Communist uh, China Party. 
and behind all those people are big uh, crooks uh, in finance, in banks, uh, and behind are the people like uh, Rockefeller, Rothschild, uh, Bill Gates, Soros, uh, and so on. And those people are cheating the whole United States. Then, please, American people, beware all the cheaters. And believe me, everything was made on purpose in Switzerland. And we, I, as a Swiss citizen, I give, I'm ready to give my expertise to uh, fight all those crooks. Thank you very much, uh, François. So it was very interesting. So I think for many people, it would be a shock what you're saying. Um, thank you again. So you will give all the information how to uh, contact uh, you. You have a website, uh, 1291.1, one, and uh, you communicate uh, uh, very often on Agora TV, which is uh, currently in French, but we will produce more and more uh, 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 version in English to... Uh, Uh, communicate abroad. Thank you very much and uh, see you soon. Thank you for listening to me. Thank you to invite me. Don't, uh, don't forget our site is 1291.1 O-N-E in English. Like uh, one, un pour tous, tous pour un. Where we go all, we go, where we go one, we go all. Thank you. <laughs>